Hey you guys, this is your girl Simply Monet and I'm back with another video. So I get a lot of requests on how do I keep my hair looking so decent in between styles. I do get that a lot. So disclaimer, I ran out of my Nairobi and I'm so upset. But I will list the other products, my second go-to that I simply, simply love that you can find at Sally's Beauty. And these are the products that I use and this is how I style my hair. So let's get right to it. So hey you guys, I am taking my Proclaim that I got from Sally's Beauty. This is like my second go-to when I run out of my Nairobi. As y'all can see, I got my handy dandy towel. And I'm just basically running my hands through my hair and just trying to get my hair to lay so flat, like really flat. I can do this all day, disclaimer. So I'm basically just pushing all my hair up to the front and pushing it to the side that I desire it to be on. And I'm also splitting my hair in the middle. So you do not want a mushroom head, ladies. You do not want a mushroom style. You don't want all your hair to be to the back and you don't have no hair in the front. So I'm basically just pushing all my hair in the front and making sure my sides have little to nothing hair. Cause I like all, I like most of my style to be mostly in the front because Pretty much, if you put your scarf on at night, the style in the back is going to be flat anyway. So you want to make sure you kind of still tend into the back, but making sure that front is molded to perfection in your sides as well. So I'm not doing any waves today. I'm just keeping it real simple, a basic mold. My mom call it the old school mold. And of course, I'm showing my comb and I got it from the beauty supply store, 99 cent. Y'all, I'm about to take forever to freaking mold my hair. I am a perfectionist. I want my shit to be flat. And that's just the way it is. When you molding your hair, your mold is basically your style to your hair. Because sometimes you can mold your hair really, really good to the point where you really wouldn't even have to curl it. Just throw some good oil on there, run your fingers through there, and keep it moving. And as you see, I'm putting more setting lotion on it because I want my sides to be super laid as well. Just because you're paying attention to the top don't mean you just neglect the back of your hair. Oops, I saw a little imperfection. And you want to make sure, too, any lines or any holes in your hair, you want to go ahead and get that because you don't want your hair to dry like that because it's going to be hard to fix that. I mean, maybe for other people, but for my hair it is. So I'm just taking these wrap strips that I got from the beauty supply. They're like $1.99 or maybe $2.99, depending on where you go. And I'm just taking that and I'm just wrapping it around my head really tightly. Taking some wrapping lotion to kind of tape it together, I guess. And I'm taking another one and I'm overlaying that on top of it. Y'all, y'all need y'all wrap strips. That's important. And then I'm taking another one and I'm putting that right on the crown of my head. And my handy dandy scarf. Yo, I had that scarf for like 10 years. I love this damn scarf. And I'm just basically just air drying my hair. You can run to the store, do some errands around the house, whatever you choose to do. I am going somewhere today, so in the process of me drying my hair, I will be doing some makeup. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you guys, you have the option to just leave this heatless. And I mean heatless just because, you know, I don't have no waves to it, but you can add waves if you want to. This Remember, this is just like a basic pixie. I just added some pomade, some oil. This is another option you can do. So I just skipped over the curling part because really pretty much it's just simple. Um, I'm just styling it, adding some oil to it, and just keeping it moving. If you guys would like to see me curl it, I can do another video on that. But 
this video was mostly just about me just molding it and just how it looks outside of the mold when you mold it properly. And I'm just taking it and I'm just putting my fingers through it. My Basically, my fingers are my comb. I pretty much use my fingers to basically comb through my hair. And that's pretty much it. And this is the final result. I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.